This is your host, Richard St. Clair. Welcome to the Blind Side Chat. Now, yesterday, hey, we saw a great Super Bowl. Well, great if you're the Seattle Seahawks fans. Now, what was interesting about that game, they hyped Denver like nobody's business. And, and I can't even blame, you know, Peyton Manning for all, all, the, all the BS that was said. You had one team being being glorified and you had another team being vilified treated like you know throwing around to, uh, words like thug and and things like that you, you you know we know what that code language means we don't have to go there let's talk about peyton manning and his 11 and 12 record who now holds the all-time record for that oh peyton also holds some other records too interceptions he's number two behind brett Favre. uh you know, he still holds the rookie record for the most most interceptions by any rookie in the history of the NFL. 28 picks his rookie season. So, you know, don't act like this is something new. You just, people haven't been paying attention to what Peyton Manning's been doing throughout his career. Now, I have, I've had the opportunity to follow Peyton since his college days. Peyton never won a big game in college. And to be quite... Quite frank, he backed into his first Super Bowl win in Miami. Rain-soaked field against a guy by the name of, I think his name is Rex Grossman. You're supposed to beat Rex Grossman, okay? See, all these yards, people seem to equate throwing for a lot of yards with greatness. And it's just not true. It's just not the only measuring stick. This guy threw for almost 6,000 yards, almost 60 touchdowns. But at the end of the day... It was a second-year quarterback who put the screws to him. So, let's talk about Peyton. Peyton handled the loss graciously. How else could he have handled it? He lost by 40 points. And he had no other way to handle it. Look, Peyton has his strengths. But Peyton has his weaknesses. And one of those weaknesses is he's just not a big game ball player. We saw that the year before when they lost at home to the Baltimore Ravens. That never should have happened. Not like that. Peyton is not a big game player. Love him or hate him, he's not a big game player. This guy had the most prolific offense in football. And you saw what a good defense, and I've always believed this, a good defense will beat a good offense any day of the week. We saw that happen last night. We saw, we saw Russell Wilson play a flawless game. We saw Peyton Manning choke, choke, choke. I hate to say it, but he did, and his history bears it out. But listen, you know. We'll see what happens next year. We'll see if Peyton sticks around for another year because I don't believe Denver will be able to get back to the championship round next year. It's very difficult to repeat. I think I think his career is basically done. Do I think he can be productive at this level? Absolutely. Do I think they can win a world title? No. Peyton's a pocket quarterback. As you can see, things are starting to change. The NFL is so fast, the defensive ends, the linebackers, the game is played so fast, you have to be able to do more than one thing. And right now, Peyton Manning is, 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 is I think, is, is, is a dying breed. He's what we call a one-trick pony. That's all he does. Sits in the pocket. They knew it would be. You, you, I mean, do you guys realize he wasn't even sacked last night? He wasn't even sacked during the entire playoffs. But they didn't win the Super Bowl. And Seahawks knew they didn't have to sack him to be effective. I mean, this guy wants to get rid of the ball so fast. See, you know, sometimes if you hold on to the ball a little bit longer, you know, maybe take that hit. Maybe you can complete the pass. This guy wants to get rid of the – I mean, he takes pride in, 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 in seeing how fast he can get rid of the football. And even though he never took one sack, they got him to throw. They they, they they got him to throw a couple picks, and this is so Peyton-esque. I don't hate the guy, okay? I like Peyton Man, 
But to say that he's one of the, the greatest quarterbacks of all time, I don't even think you can go there. I don't even think you can go in the top ten. Would I start my franchise with a Russell Wilson or a Cam Newton or a Robert Griffin or a Colin Ka Kaepernick? You could have Peyton Manning all day. I'm going with these. I'm going with these kids who can throw and who can run and who can and and who can bring more to the table than what Peyton Manning has been able to do. Not hating on the guy, man. I think I think I think the game is starting to pass guys like that by. You're not going to see as many pocket passers win Super Bowls. Those days are over. You're going to have to bring more to the table. You know, you're going to be able to help to help your team out every now and then for running for a first down. I mean, I watched the effort after the interception. Peyton Manning made virtually no effort. Not that he could have tackled the guy, but he made virtually no effort to go after the guy. It's like him and Brady have this, maybe it's a clause in their contract. You don't have to tackle anybody after you throw a pick. But you don't see that from Colin Kaepernick and Russell Wilson, you know? They do whatever they got to do to help the team win. Now, for all you, for all you, you guys out there that were hating, you know, Russell Wilson's too young. He doesn't have the experience. You know, the way you guys, you know, put the team down, a lot of the media people, it was all about Peyton. It was all about Denver. They got schooled. They got the crap beat out of them by a superior team. Straight up and down. Special teams, defense, offense. They got schooled. My hats off to the people in, in, in Seattle. Uh, you know, you guys, you guys earned it from top to bottom. I predicted you'd win the Super Bowl to start of the season, and uh, you know, congrats, congrats. But anyway, <clears throat> thanks for tuning in. We'll see you back here at the same time next week at the Blindside Chat. Thanks a lot. Peace.